Where did they go? Where did they go? Fuck! We are finally here. I know that many of you guys have been waiting for this moment. I have too. But today is the day when we are finally going to play the last episode of the Fierce to Fathom series. This one is called Iron Bark Lookout and many of you guys already know what this is all about. But let me read something for you guys if, if you are new to this with Fierce to Fathom. This episode is about we play as Jack Nelson, a 24 year old fire lookout transferred to a new outpost. As he settled into his new home he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Little did he know that he was transpiring down in Ironbark State Park. So weird things are probably going to happen in this episode. I'm really looking forward to it. I know that Jacksepticeye is involved in this. He's, he's been like voice acting or something. So it's going to be really exciting and fun to see what kind of voice acting he's doing. So enough said with that. Let's jump into this episode. Iron Bark Lookout, let's go! Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like I'm, I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Tell me more about it. Hi, I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in the state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Northwest miles, miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. No, I can feel him. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. An RV, you say? This one time I was transferred home one from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and I liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. So now we need to drive for two hours. What am I listening to? With this music, you might feel or might think that I'm in vacation mode or something. Let's hit the gas! Hey, Time to read messages again. We always need to read messages when driving vehicles. That's dangerous, isn't it? Okay, where are we going? Are we going to begin? Are we going to start with Mitch Scott? Uh, I've been talking to him here. Uh, blah 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 blah. I don't want to read all of this. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there you'll be on foot. Take the Cold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it, thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID or he will shoot your ass. <laughs> Not really, but it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, okay, from Kayla. Is this my girl? So much text. The new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, okay? I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Haha. <laughs> okay, she wants to join me. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me time to talk, Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change. 
Look at that iron bark look at fire department Jack Nelson here we go Iron bark They're staffing me to iron bark next month the one after Roseburg yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With that, I'll call you back. Okay, with that, I'll call you back. How is it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No. Why? So Kayla must be my girlfriend and Mitch Scott is uh, my new manager or something what a nice RV we have it is so cool I really understand people living the RV life traveling around to different spots locations whatever you want to call it and just just chilling out have a like moving home some of them don't even own an apartment or something. They, they, they truly live in their van for a full time. There's a truck ahead! We're not gonna smash into that one. I've always loved the great outdoors. And you love hip hop as well. Some decent hip hop. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I truly understand that. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Listen to this song! Ah! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Show them! Yeah! Fuck it though! Fuck it though! We're going into a society, but I need to read the text from Kayla first. I remember there's this diner while have passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I can really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Thank you for the advice. So we got a burger restaurant ahead. Give me some burgers. I want some good, decent, old, juicy, tasty burgers. <coughs> 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 Roseburg, sorry. Here's the dining place. I'm gonna park like a fucking asshole. <laughs> there we go. I can do whatever I want because I have a van. I have an RV. I'm bigger than you. Ah, it's just a scratch. Don't worry about it. Your car is shitty anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This parking is pretty decent, isn't it? <laughs> People must hate me for parking like this. Okie dokie! So we gonna grab a snack or something? What the f- Uh, excuse me, sir? Please leave me alone! Oh, I'm happy to do that! What the fuck is wrong with your face? What did they do to you? Oh, Jesus Christ, welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today, sir? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you and fuck you. All right, so we got a child molester sitting here trying to eat in peace and quiet. And another dude hanging around. He seems pretty decent, so... Uh, how are you doing, sir? How's the food? He just stared at me. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't probably young enough for him, so... Uh, why is he having a shovel and shit here? He is probably a child molester and a fucking killer. What the hell, dude? And the bag? Is that a bag? Never mind. Let's, let's grab a seat somewhere. I like sitting, like, away from people, so this will be good. This will be perfect. Here we look at the menu. We got cheeseburger, grilled cheese sandwich, and other good stuff. Okay. Is she coming now? Waiters! Oh, there, there you are. Hey there. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready for or to order? Yes. What can I get for you today? 
cheeseburger with, with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Meatball sub with chicken nuggets? No, I have, I'll go with the cheeseburger. That's always a good, safe card to go with because you always know that it's, it's hard to to uh, fail with a cheeseburger, so... Aha! Our burger is the best in the West! Would you like anything to drink? Large Coke, please. Anything else? Um... No, that will be all. Thank you. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. we Will do. Sounds good. Appreciate it. She's really nice. She's so kind and friendly. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. So I should have taken this seat so I can face that way. That would be better. But first we need to go peeing. What is the deal with peeing in these games? You, you're always gonna pee in these games. What? Am I a vampire? No reflection at all? That's good. Let's close the door. And then we're gonna pee. No, I don't wanna pee in the toilet. I wanna pee fucking everywhere. I wanna share my urine with all the people. I wanna share my urine with the best dining place in the world. You're welcome. I don't think I had to flush because all the pee was literally on the floor right now. I'm really sorry for that. Always watch your hands. After being to the bathroom, and especially when you've been peeing everywhere. <laughs> I'm so immature, I know. Ah. Let's go out and see if Barbara is bringing our burger soon. I want to sit here now. This feels like a better place. I was in the wrong booth. Oh, come on. What does it matter? What does it matter, really? I don't want to sit here anymore. I felt too lonely. I don't like sitting with the back against people like that. It's just, I, I don't know. It's just a, I don't like that feeling. I want to be able to have full or be fully aware of the situation where I'm at. Here comes the burger. Thank you very much, Barbara. Having a bad day? No. Oh, we got... Is that three dips? That's cool. Consuming. That's a huge burger, by the way. Nom, 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 nom. We're gonna eat the fries, too? Nom, 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 nom. Don't forget about the dip sauce. Come on. What? Kayla Nelson. What the fuck do you want, Kayla? So did you add... Did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. And the huge coke. We are going to consume that as well. And then we are good to go. But I'm really pissed off that we didn't take the dips. That's kind of annoying. Is uh, Barbara going to arrive soon? Oh, the pedophile it needs to take a leak too. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know why I'm so annoying today. I'm just so excited for this. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you, Barbara. You should get a raise. You're so kind. So friendly. I still don't like sitting with the back towards the entry. Now she's coming back. Hello, Barbara. Here's the check. Your total is six dollars. Six dollars only? For a burger meal. That is really cheap. I'm going to give you, uh, of course, 50% tip. Of course. She deserves that. Yeah! She really deserves that. I hope the child molester enjoyed my pee all over the floor in the bathroom. <laughs> What's this? Can we can, can we talk with you? Oh, you have nice biceps, you know that? Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? 
I'm a staffer at Iron Bark State Park. So is this true? What do you mean the true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. What? Huh? I need to go. Something happened with some kids? Hello there, you must be a lawyer. I could need your help right- Oh my god, that is too close! Are you about to give me a kiss or something? I don't- I don't want that. Fuck, you look like Mr. Bean or something. Or his ass. You look a little lost. <laughs> yeah, I'm lost all over your face. Just tired. This place has some great coffee. If you're in the mood for one. I'm always in the mood for coffee. Blah, 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 blah. As you can see, I usually go for vanilla latte. So, where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby state park. Oh, that's great! I didn't know these jobs still existed. So, uh, okay, I, I actually don't, don't care anymore. Let's go! Let's get out of here! I want to keep on going. I'm so excited for this trip and I love my parking. I hope this was the car of the child molester, by the way. He's going to have something to work with. Just a few scratches. Doesn't really matter. Let's get in the RV. This is a really decent looking RV, by the way. Did I leave the door open or... Or was it like this? The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Someone is taking a crap in our bathroom. Never mind. Let's close the door. Do I have a bag? I don't think I need that for now. Let's go. I guess. Let's drive out of here. And enjoy the hip hop. Sorry. My bad. It's just... It's my first time driving an RV. I, I'm, I'm not really good at this. Sorry. I'm sorry. Look. I'm just passing through here. All of you guys, I'm really sorry. Driving like... What the fuck? What was that banging noise? Never mind. Let's keep on going. It's evening time. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out of the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Here we have something. This looks like a lookout. Brum, 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 brum. Oh, sorry. My bad. It's my first time driving. I drove my RV into the foot trail. Is this where we're gonna park? <laughs> I'm really driving like an asshole. There we go. Look at my parking skills. They're just amazing, are they? <laughs> okay, so we're going to... Take a walk from here? Are we going in here first? Whoa! 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 Easy! Easy! <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me! I thought you were one of them! One of who? May Lord have mercy! What the fuck? Anyways, I can see your permit, please. Oh. Oh, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Well, now you know. Hang on, let me check on that. Yeah, you go check on that and don't fucking scare me one more time because I will grab your fucking shotgun and shove it up your ass, boy. That is what happens. That's what happens. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. 
I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Take keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. Well, thank you very much. You are so kind. Was it Brian? Billy. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. So now we have a flashlight as well. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just to we know you clocked in safely. Okay. Okay, okay. So we're going to do a weather report. If need be, you can reach out to tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Cool. Thank you, Billy. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't want to... Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Bobcats and bears are nasty business. Okay, you got it. I'm actually glad he said bobcats and bears and not any paranormal shit. I thought it was trying to blah 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 blah. Didn't manage to read that. So are we just... I left my bag in the RV at first. Oh, we're gonna get that bag now. Of course. Taking my bag. There we go. Let's go to the Iron Bark Lookout. Can't wait to see this place. What does this say? Stay on the trail, only horses, no bikes. This is a foot trail. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Got it. What happens now? Eleven thirty-two p.m. It's getting late. It was a long hike, and I was starting to get cold now. Oh, this is the way to Tower Eleven. That's our tower. Cool. Beautiful place, by the way. Let's make a little run for it. Why do I run like fucking Santa's elf? Like tiny footsteps. That's kind of annoying, but uh, Tower 11 to the left. Cold Creek Trail. Straight ahead. Okay, I guess we're going to the left then. This must be our tower. Look at that. That is powerful. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. And for taking craps at toilets like this. It's really nice. Let's go up, will we? Let's go up and we're going to do a weather report first thing. First thing. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of blah blah blah. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got this. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Well, I hope you get slightly comfort because you sure gonna need it. Iron Bark Fire Department. All looks lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower okay I, I don't really care about rules so uh, I want to close the door <sighs> always close the door <laughs> in horror games like I always say so I guess we're gonna use the computer are we gonna throw the bag first on the bed or on the floor <laughs> doesn't really matter I guess forgot to turn the generator on at first Huh? 
What what happened to the light? What did I what did I do? Stop it! We need to turn on the generator. Where is the generator? Okay, so the generator must be here's like a power cord leading down there. So it must be in that little cabin, I guess. Let's go down and have a look, will we? Follow the power cords leading out in the woods. I, I need to check this. Here's the generator. Here we have it. Here we have it. But how do we switch it on? Uh, okay, okay. We got another flashlight. We got some notes. Do we need to fill up the tank or something? I think we need to follow the cord. No, we can't do that. Here is a generator. The fuck, I didn't see that at first. Come on. Okay, the, the generator is now on. Let's go in, close the door and check the weather report. Please. Starting Rainbow 98. We need a password. Check the Iron Bark Rules flyer. And it was here. Uh, do we have a password somewhere? Uh, supply drops are handed out. Absolutely no guess. System password is Iron Bark and tower number. Okay. Iron Bark 11. Iron Bark. Hello, please. Iron Bark 11. There we go. Hopefully. Yeah, buddy. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trust virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most out of your computer today. Thank you. How can I make your day better? You can shut the fuck up. How about that? <laughs> Kidding, of course. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. Antarctica is the windiest continent on Earth, with some coastal areas experiencing winds reaching speeds up to 200 miles per hour. How can I make your day better? Stop talking about fucking nonsense. How about that? Service reporting. Uh, let's go into this. <sighs> okay, welcome to the state of art. What the fuck? New guy. Haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Okay, who is this? Connor, Fire Tower 12. You were watching? Isn't that the job? I had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh, okay. So you're not a stalker? Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. Nothing to say about that. <laughs> I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. Iron Experienced Horse. Experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. Yeah. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Okay, we gotta light up, light up a fire. Uh, in this, I guess. Do we need to look look for wood as well? I'm sure we have to. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Easy. Come on, give me a break. Around the entrance, okay? Like entrance. What's going on? Hey. What's going on? No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. 
Okay, I, I found the gasoline. I know where that is. Oh, we have gasoline here too. Cool. Got any wood here? Any wood here? Hello? You got any wood in here? Here we got the wood. Let's light up the fire. First, we're gonna use some gasolina. Oh my god, I just poured it outside, all over the place. Doesn't matter. Let's play some here, some over there, and some over there. Just need to make sure that the fire will get decent. Okay. <laughs> Light it up! Um, right. Okay. Open, and then use. Woof! Explode! Let's close that. I see the smoke. Yep. The whole place is gonna burn down any second from now, so... Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No. I did not come that far. So I guess we have to do it now. Did you report for the night yet? No, you let me get into it. it. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. No, I don't want to do that. So let's uh, do a report. Service reporting. I'm already on the right track. Do we need to fill this in? Uh, okay, so, so first of all we need to measure weather conditions with the provided equipment and log accurate data to be sent to the headquarters for evaluation. So we need to use we need to use some equipment to like check the weather and stuff we're gonna use this one maybe what does it say nineteen knots got that right okay so Nineteen knots, and we need to we need to check the temperature as well. Oh, we could light the place up. Of course, I started the generator, so I should have done that long time ago. I know that, but uh, I, I don't I don't want to sleep. Uh, I need to report somehow. Turn on some music. Everything is so much easier with some music on. So much easier. Wait a minute, here's a thermometer. Okay, so it's are you are you checking Fahrenheit? Do you want Fahrenheit or Celsius? Okay, Fahrenheit. So what is it? Was it about 40? Let's see. 40 or I didn't really assist any hikers was that it something didn't look right <laughs> what am I doing wrong is it the temperature the temperature was 44 but of course of course I could click on it I could actually click on it to get the specific temperature. How about now? Are we good now? I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. Is it... Is it... Is it... Is it cloudy? Clear? Okay. Can you copy, new guy? Whatever floats your boat. Tower 11, copy. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Are you going to sign off now? Don't want the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Okie dokie. So we've been doing the service report now. Everything is all good. Employee training. 
Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say Congratulations! That is Jacksepticeye! You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire that Department That is Jacksepticeye, definitely. I recognize that voice. In the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we've been known as one of the safest parks in America. Parks? We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. I love his accent. I love his accent. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. I should have checked this from the beginning. <laughs> I Keep feel. campers out of <laughs> unregistered campgrounds. Typical me. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Of course. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And I and love remember, the way you talk. If you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. If you see smoke, don't joke. That's a really good one. I can remember that one for sure. Top of the morning. <laughs> yeah, that was Jacksepticeye indeed. So cool that he actually could be in this game, voice acting. That must be such a fun thing to do. I'm so happy for him. Must have been a blast for him. Okay, now we can go for sleep. I always make sure the door is locked before I head to bed. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Didn't think about that. The door is closed. Maybe not locked, but it's, it's closed. Let's go for a sleep. <laughs> Three twenty-six a.m. Right in the middle of the night, and we hear something on the radio. What is going on now? It's my first day. It's my first night here, trying to get some sleep. What the fuck? I had to be now again. Always have to be in important situations. What's wrong with you, man? I'm, I'm sorry, I need to go and take a leak because apparently that's more important than handling a fucking tough situation. On my first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Yeah, there is something going on. Am I going to pee straight from the tower? Hell yeah! Let's do it! Alright! Here you have Mother Nature! Taste my mighty old fluid! Directly from the fountain of youth! I bring you... Pee! Ah! That felt so good! There's something special with peeing out in the wild. Such a good feeling, I don't know what it is, but... You feel free and of course, revealed afterwards. So, what do we got here? Connor? 
No, Connor? Okay. It was nothing. So I guess we can go back to sleep. Yeah, we can. I'm happy for that. Night two. Oh. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. And we're having some top of the morning coffee directly from Jack Septicai. Thank you very much. Right mouse button to sip. Let's sip together. Oh, that's all good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Drink that coffee. Left mouse button to take a photo. That's yeah. Oh, there's the uh, the twelfth power. I think. Take a photograph. Take a beautiful picture. Click. And then we're gonna sip the coffee again. This is a perfect morning. Look at the birds flying over there. It's beautiful everywhere. It, it's beautiful. It must be a quite decent job, actually. Are we gonna take another photo? Let's do a little zoom and catch the birds on the photo. Because that's so beautiful. Nature, photographs, sipping coffee. It's just space to get off. Are we happy already? I want to keep enjoying my coffee, watching this view. Do we need to go back to work now? New guy, you copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? J yes, I, I, I will copy. I'm right there. Any minute from now. Tower 11, do you copy? Yes, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? North of your position? Let me have a look. Huh. Throw the cup. Fuck you, coffee. I got work to do. We got some smoke. Oh, there we have something. Indicative of a campfire. That's not good. I need you to confirm. You yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to confirm, Connor. Just give me a little tiny second, please. White smoke up north. Yes, I see it. Not really. Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray. And you should be fine. Bear spray, okay. Okay, heading north, I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Thank Don't you very to carry much. Your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. So that's what that can was containing. It's bear spray. Okay, let's head up north. Uh we need to go the the we need to go the way we came from, apparently. Let's follow the smoke and see what we can find, will we? Let's run with our tiny footsteps. <laughs> Cold Creek Trail. I, I guess we're going this way. Caution! Bears in area! Ah! I don't want to run into a bear or something like that. 8.37 p.m. already. I follow the trail that lead me to the smoke. Hello? Okay, someone was screaming. A bear attack maybe? No camping. Violations will be seated, seated, seated and, and move. What? That's a hangman? <laughs> okay, people are brutal here. Okay, what's going on here? Hello? Anyone here? Holy shit, we got so many texts from uh, Kayla. Let's check them out. Oh my god, what? Oh, 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 okay, okay. I sent her the pictures. What did we talk about before that? 
Okay, Bobby, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Just got home. Pizza, blah, 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 blah. You will not believe how easy this one is to throw together. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see these. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector was very good service. No, we, we can't really have good service out here in the middle of the woods. But look at those pictures. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. My try tonight. Thank you, Kayla. Okay, so anyone here? I'm gonna spray the shit out of you. I'm gonna fill this shit in your tent. And then you're not gonna be able to sleep for months. So get the fuck out of here, will you? Okay. Uh, we got lots of things over here. Someone is whistling? Who's there? No answer. Show yourself! The area beyond that side was closed. So what are we supposed to do now? Are we gonna steal the flashlight? I I I, I don't want to drop off my bear spray because I th I think I might need that. So there's no one here. Are are we gonna put the fire out or something? Yes, we do. <laughs> my hands were full. Okay, of course. Let's grab the bucket. Pour in the water. Let's put this shit out. Because you're not allowed to do this. You should have listened to me. Okay. Fire is fucking out. Let's get the hell out of here. I do not want to stay here anymore. Not for a freaking second. Let's go back. I heard someone in the bushes. Someone or something. Are we back in the tower now? As I hiked back to my tower through the dark. I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think that what might have happened. Yeah, I, I do wonder what happened. Okay, we are heading back to the tower. Let's go back to the tower! Back to the tower! Back to safety! If any bear appears, I will fucking spray the shit out of him. Utility shack. Okay, yeah, that's a lovely shack with the wood. Okay, we're going back and we're going to report that we didn't find any persons. But we found a fire that we put out immediately. So I guess we're all good in the hood. I'm gonna leave this one right there, and then I'm going to make a report! Instant report! Or do I need to call Connor first? Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. Oh. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Some hot... what? Are you kidding me? No, that's true. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. They never learned. Nope. What are you talking about? Or what do you mean? I am sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Third time? Anything else you notice in those woods? Mm, oh, well, yeah. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Disappearance of those three kids? Aha! That's what the guy mentioned at that uh, dining place. About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with campers? Or what happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. 
Ooh, we heard that whistle. We heard that whistle on the campsite. People started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted Tell him. by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. Glad to be of service. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, agreed. Keep me safe, dear guy. Over and out. You too, over and out. I should have mentioned to Connor that we heard that whistle. That whistling sound. Because we did. At the campsite. <laughs> Holy shit, that is so creepy. Oh no. Oh fuck, fuck. Not delivered. Looking at the photo makes my stomachs growl. It's uh, as a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. <sighs> so we're going to make some pizza. All right, let's cook some pizza. So we need uh, uncooked pasta. Oh, it was a pizza pasta bake. The fuck is that? Uncooked pasta. Marinara sauce and pepperoni. Okay, so pasta. Shall I place them in this pan or something? What's the plan? Okay, okay. There's the pasta. Okay. And then we need some sauce. So here's the refrigerator. I guess we have everything in here. Here's marinara sauce. Place it right there. There we go. And then we need some mozzarella, mozzarella, rabadella, habidella. Do we need this too? No, I don't think so. Pepperoni and diced tomatoes. Okay, throw that one away. <laughs> we need some pepperoni, pepperoni. Where's the pepperoni? There's the pepperoni. Place it right there. Diced tomatoes. Here we got them. This is the last ingredient. There we go. It's looking pretty good, actually. Let's place this one in the oven. Boom! Let's go! You guys, you there? Yeah, I'm just cooking some food. You guys. I'm on my way, Connor. Stressing me out all the time. Give me a break, will you? What is it? Good job. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of mind. Yeah, I surely hope so. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. Well, that's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? Mmm, forgot. I was just getting into it. Better get to it. <laughs> this didn't sound to me in a very good mood today. Ooh, Jesus. Got it. Yep. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Well, thank you, Connor. Thank you very much. Go over 12, signing off. Go over and out. Yeah, good night, Connor. So we need to do a report. Service report. I'm not really sure. Should we do... The same kind of service report we did before. Checking the temperature and everything. I can at least give it a try. 46.8 Fahrenheit. 46.8. Let's go and check the wind. We have about 18 knots today. Okay, we got 80 knots and the weather is cloudy, I guess. So, 18 knots. Cloudy. Number of hikers assisted. A 
did not really assist anyone, but I guess one? I don't know. Let's give it a try. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can't even type my name. Okay, so that's report submitted. Cool. Uh, we're doing a decent job, aren't we? I heard a playing. Sound of happiness. It feels like my good old meal is finished and good to go. I don't need a flashlight right now, so I can place it right there. Let's close the door. Always close the door. I just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, good old cheese. I can really feel the smell of it. And I just want to dip my face in all of it. Where shall we eat? We're not really having a dining table here, do we? I like eating in bed, okay. Thanks for letting me know. So place it right there, I guess. But if I go to the bed... I just end up sleeping, or... No, okay, we, we can actually eat from here. Are we gonna eat all of it? I must be really hungry. Holy shit. I was already full, okay, thank you God for that. I thought we were about to eat everything at first. So can we place it like here? Could have kept it in the room. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Place it right there and we can grab a snack tomorrow. Uh, no, nope, I don't want any cola right now. Oh, I placed it really, really nice. Now we can go for some sleep. I was getting cold. Some wood first. We are going out to get some wood. And I always have a bad feeling when I'm leaving the tower. I don't li really like that. I don't really like that. I hope... I hope not a bear will show up now because I didn't bring the spray. I didn't bring... Oh, fuck that! The whistling sound. Fuck this! I'm not going out there! Oh. Did you hear that? It was the whistling sound. Not a good sign. Close the door. Keep it locked. Throw in the wood. Pour some gasoline all over the place. And then light the matches. Do your magic, and let's go. Yeah. Burn the place down! Yeah, baby! Okay, we're good now. There we go. <laughs> let's go for some sleep. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. What boards? Oh, those boards. I barely didn't see them. It was so dark. Let's close the boards. To make everyone happy. Or to make ourselves happy. And no one else. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. Close all the boards. That actually feels way much better, I must say. Now we're going for some good night's sleep, dude. Don't we have any boards here? Not really. I think that's all of them. Let's give it a try. Let's go for some sleep. We're gonna wake up in the middle of the night. Of course. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Fuck, 
hide. Hide, hide, hide. We should report. We should report. Fuck, we can't report. Oh no, no, no. Where's the flashlight? Should we grab the flashlight? I don't know if that's a good idea. Should we go out? Check it out. Dude, what the fuck is that? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think was to contact Connor. Well, yes! Look at that! Oh, <laughs> that's a nice gift from Satan himself. Holy shit! Should I light up the place? Oh, we can have a little peek, like in the other games. Okay, let's light up the place and report this to Connor. Quick as possible. Come on. Connor! Do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. You just couldn't wait until morning? No. I don't think these are kids messing around. No, I wouldn't think that either. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This feels like some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yes, but apparently weird things happened out here, so... that Connor didn't make any sense but there's not much else I could have done in the dark <sighs> no I'm afraid no I'm afraid no are we gonna sleep again I'm not gonna put the lights out no way not after that happened night three Next day I woke up, not being so sure if it was last night, was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. It sure is. Alright, so we got another uh, beautiful, no, not so beautiful morning. It's, it's a windy morning. Oh, we're gonna use the binoculars. I occupy most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower or by scanning the densities of trees all around me. Okay. So uh, my paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra v vigilant moving forward. I, I, I truly understand. I, I would have done the same thing, actually. 
I would have done the same thing. Okay. So at the moment, I only see that it's pretty windy outside. We can clean. What do you mean with clean? Oh, we, we can clean the binoculars. Okay. 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 Here we go. Now I understand. Only took me five hours. Oh! Oh! There is definitely something! Clean them! Clean them! What the fuck is that? And who's doing that? Someone is in the urgent need of help, I guess? I think we should report this. Holy shit. Let's report this. Wrong way. Okay, let's go the other way. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, I need help. Please, someone answer. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. My paranoia might urge me to close the door before sitting down. Of course. You're thinking exactly how I'm thinking when playing horror games, my friend. That's the Hello? right way of thinking. Can anyone hear me? Yes, this is Jack. Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. I'm lost. And I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Okay, so... Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. It sure does. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Yeah, but I kind of saw them, so... All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Okay, um... Can you describe your surroundings? I'm surrounded by trees. I remember passing a small stream earlier. A small stream, okay. What direction are you facing right I'm now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Uh -huh. oh, thank goodness, I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Wait a minute, I'm at the trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left trail to get back to the trailhead. Let me scan the map and get back to you. I have no idea, so I need to check the map. And we had a map here. So... Where can he be? Uh, hello? Yes? Uh, are, are you still there? Both yes! Both trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. I'm on it. I'm just trying to locate where you are. Here's Tower 11. And... Where is the trail? Logal Trail. We have the Ridge Trail. You know what? I have no fucking I'm at a idea. Trail intersection now, Take but the I'm right going trail. To be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm right here. What? I hear you. What do you mean? I hear your whistles. Ooh, no, 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 that's not me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. Oh, I hear the whistles from the, oh. Oh, no, no, no. You're freaking me out. Is that the help I was searching for? Or I was waiting for? 
is that? I can't see. It must be my colleague. Hello there, sir. Holy moly, what took you so long in here? Whew. Thank you, God. I've been knocking for hours. Yeah, right. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Okay, take supplies. You could have just put them down on the ground meanwhile, but I mean... Do as you wish. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh lord have mercy. Is that all you can say? Nasty business up there, pal. Bob cats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. <laughs> I can't imagine that. Not to mention, you'd be a quiet distance from help if anything happened. I got enough to keep me occupied here. And we got the bear spray, so we're pretty good, I guess. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Just get... Just get getting used to the new environment. Mention the skull. Yeah, mention the skull. Nothing to say about that? Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Nope. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pals. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Okay, thanks for the supplies. Goodbye. Have a nice day. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. Should I place them on bed or... What should I do with the supplies? Let's place them over here. I'm so careful with the things. Okay, so... Are we going to sleep now? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. We're gonna grab that meal from yesterday, are we? Grab that snack. The food... Oh, Jesus Christ, come on. Who cares? It's still food. You're really hungry. You don't have time for warming things up. Warm it up then. If that makes you happy. Yum, yum, yum. Eat that shit up. Yum! Mm, 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 mm. Feels so good! Okay, let's get up. And we're gonna place this in the sink. I guess. And let's go to sleep. I had to report for the night. I assisted one hiker and that's about it. There we go. Perfect. Now we can go for some sleep. I was getting cold, of course. We need to get some wood. Oh, that's the binoculars. I thought it was something else. I'm getting slightly paranoid right now because so many weird things are happening already. So now we need to try to collect the wood fast as possible. Because I don't want to be out here. And I hope we don't have to hear that fucking whistling sound again. Ah! Javlar! Who the, who the fuck are you? What the fuck? You just gave me a heart attack. I understand. Loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What? Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Sorry, I realized the camera wasn't activated. My bad, but uh, now I'm back. Now you can see my pretty face again. Uh, I hope you're good with that. No need to be alarmed. I'm at work. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there, okay? Thought I'd say hi. I'm the new guy everyone been talking about. Nice to meet you. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Okay, we must ensure that the right message reached the right place, wouldn't you agree? 
Right, we'll rely on the information about fire sightings, yeah? Absolutely! But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. The fuck do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can be controlled, no matter how hard we try. Okay, I... I and sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing away for the land of purity. Okay, I'll see you around. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. The guy gave me out the creepiest vibes. Where is he going, by the way? Straight out in the woods? He was pretty creepy indeed. I can't admit that. He was really creepy indeed. Light this shit up. And then go to bed. Yes, I'm on my way, Connor. You're starting to annoy me right now. You copy now. Yes! Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get some firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. Well, I ran into a fucking creepy son of a bitch. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. Oh, he's not working here at all. What do you mean? Yank my chain now. What that do you mean? The tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair costs were deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to then? <laughs> He like knew my name. You think he's been listening? Possibly. Way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. I think I got this. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Yeah, over. yeah. Good night, over and out. So fucking creepy, okay? I, I guess I need to close these panels first, because that's what I want before going to bed. Close the door and jump into bed. Jesus Christ. What is gonna happen now? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18pm. Okay, it's hey evening guy, time. You got a minute? Sure. Well. Me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Guess we have to give it a try. Thanks for nothing, Connor. Help. And then we're gonna install system update with package code. Uh, okay. Update. And what's the fucking package code? Is it tower 11? No, it wasn't. Okay, we need to find the package code. I'm really not sure. 
Okay, let's check for available updates. Seeky UPD. Three updates found. Oh, there we have the package code. Cool. Let's see. I'm going to take a picture of that. There we go. And then we're going to run the update. And the package code is following 4346084. All right. Please enter an active line. 5487. Come on. Now it's up to date. Finally. What the fuck happened now? Was it the generator? The power is out. The power was out, of course. I think I put the flashlight here. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna need that one for sure. Holy shit going out in the fucking shitty rain like this. I do not want to go down from the tower right now. Not not after what we just experienced. Turn on the generator. Run out of gas! Do we need to get the gas from here? I got drenched in the rain. Yeah, but we need to get the gas. I know there is some gasolina here. Run, 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 run. Hurry up. Jack, come on, hurry up. Fill it up. And it's up and running again. It was getting cold and I had to pee. Are we going to use the, bath the, the toilet this time? Okay. Let's give it a try. I'm going to pee all over the place. Why is this microphone function on? Do we need to be quiet now? I guess not. Get the hell out of here. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I had to do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. Hmm. And we are right in the middle of the night again. Another one of what? Jack, Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? On my way. I'm on my way, Connor. I'm on my way. You and me against the world, Connor. You and me against the world. Right here, Connor. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? You're busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Not again. Not again, please. Connor is not helping us out at all. He's just a lazy bastard. He's doing nothing. Literally nothing for us. Okay, where's the smoke? There we... Oh, that was really close. 
Can we use the binoculars? There we have them. They're really close. I mean, really close. I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made me sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Let's take a photo. Let's go. Now I'm going to take you greedy bastards. Click. Ha <laughs> ha. What the fuck? They are running away. Where did they go? Where did they go? Fuck! <laughs> are they coming here? Holy shit! What do we do? Let's go in here! Let's go in here! Did we lock the door? Did we? Did we lock the door? Are we gonna hide? is that he had nice boots though huh? peekaboo oh shit time to go time to go time to go where is he oh there he is <laughs> oh, Jesus hide That's very nice of you. Okay, so we're back here at this very sequence. And I must say, I've actually seen this sequence on the TikTok video. So I know that we are heading down to the toilet to go hide. But this time, without any pause. Just run away and try to stay quiet. Huh? Peekaboo! Let's sprint. Let's sprint. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Right there, we should go. We should just go. We should just go. I don't want to head back up in the tower. I just want to get the hell out of here. Hope we're doing the right thing. Because right now I'm not really sure. Are we back here? Thank you, God! It was locked. Okay, screw you, colleague. 
Fuck! Oh, no, 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 no. Where's my RV? Where the fuck's my... There's the RV. Hurry up. Hurry up. Go to the RV. Quick as possible. Get the hell out of here. Go, 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 go. Fuck! No! Fuck! Ah! Oh, so stupid. Forgot to close the door. Okay, let's try it one last time. Let's run away from him. And this time when approaching or arriving at the RV, we need to close the door, of course. Let's give it another try. Run, 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 as fast as you can. Run, 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 because behind you is a man. Fuck! I almost ran the wrong way! Run faster! Come on, you can do it! Open up! Close! And go! Get the hell out of here! As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed into the alert to the headquarters. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out there, Mitch answered. They don't believe me? For real? Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation, just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a heaven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Alright, so we survived the fourth episode. That was pretty much it. And that's pretty much another good episode from the Fears to Fathom games. I enjoy this. Employee training, yeah, yeah Jacksepticeye. I, I, I like it that Jacksepticeye was doing a voice acting in this game. I really love Jack Jacksepticeye and I really love these games as well. Um, the only thing with these games is that... It's kind of annoying that you need to start all over again when accidentally dying, so it takes, sometimes it takes lots of time before you're actually finished with the game and with a complete video like this. And I guess it's alright if you're doing YouTube for a full time, but for me, that has a fucking tight schedule all the time, it's pretty hard for me, but we managed to do it and here we are. I'm really happy I did it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this as well. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already, and please share with your friends and family. Just spread the word so, so we can keep this community growing. And once again, thanks for being here with me. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this episode. <sighs> I need to catch my breath now. I see you in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.